hot topics, hot tweets, and the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Lisa Duan, and this is how the show is going to work. We're going to present all the goodies we've gathered in which we will discuss and most likely argue. Yeah. But luckily for all of us, there is a mute button that we can each only use once when we want the other one to shut up. Ah, uh, that's right. Shout out to chat. We like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we match. Oh, and we're spitting truth. Let's <laughs> get to it. We're going to start our debates, which I will win. Obviously, with some big news straight from the World Health Organization. In its 72nd meeting, WHO agreed to add gaming disorder to its list of recognized illnesses. Importantly, it's not gaming addiction. It's a gaming disorder is going to be defined by as persistent or recurring gaming behavior, which has to last for at least a year, where an individual prioritizes gaming over daily activities despite repeated negative consequences. Gaming disorder will officially be recognized as a disease at the start of 2022. Lisa, what do you think of this? Honestly. I mean, okay. Be real, be real. But I have two parts. You know, okay. like, my, the reasonable, reasonable side of me wants mm. to be like, listen, you know what, it is, it can be a real addiction. You mm. know, like, people, we've all, I'm sure, know a person who skips school, skip work, I'm looking at you, Marissa, uh, <laughs> to play a game. And you know what, like, I, I get that in this day and age, it's important to recognize that some people are taking it too far, mm. and it's a negative thing. Okay. Sure. But the fact that it's now being given a name, mm. and you know that's going to lead to a stigma, and that's going to prevent people from being more comfortable talking about it, mm. and also at this time where it's kind of sensitive where esports is you know emerging mm -hmm. it's almost like they're trying to stifle it at this time when yeah. it's just coming out to be a bigger thing right sure yeah like so, stomping out the flame yes and i know how much you hate that i really you know? do i really so really kind of do like both sides it, I see. it's mostly uh for me it was just it was made into a joke on all of our timelines because we follow a lot of people in the gaming industry uh, like in mainstream gaming and esports Everybody was making a joke about this because it's just so silly. Like, we play video games every day. Some of us, not all day, but at least yeah. a little bit. So I understand when you break it down and you actually explain what it has to be. It has to be a full year. It has to be, like, prioritizing gaming over yeah. everything else. But the thing is, a lot of pros do that because that's their job. So then that means that they will have a gaming disorder because it's not... But isn't it addiction if they have to do it for work? Right? Like, how do maybe, we prioritize right, that? Right. Maybe not just because then their gaming is part of their daily activity. So Right. Therefore, they're prioritizing correctly. I think sure. this is more for people who aren't pros, though you did mention how the pros brought up like, oh, now I can collect all the disability yeah. money, right? Yeah. But that's the good joke coming out of that. But the serious part is, you know what? I'm going to look at it in a positive light, okay? okay. That it's becoming an issue where people, young kids especially, are being very influenced by gaming culture. They're playing games instead of doing their homework, mm -hmm. going to work, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So we need to recognize that there is a kind of um, awareness that we need to bring with gaming nowadays. That's fine. Okay? I just feel like with the World Health Organization, like it just kind of it pisses me off because I feel like there are more important things going on in this world. Like I already tweeted about it, but like people that don't vaccinate their children, okay? Like maybe let's tag them with something. Let's put a name on them and call that a disorder in some way. Because I feel like this is not that important of an mm -hmm. issue compared to all the other things that need to be fixed in this world. So I don't know, lay off maybe. There you go. All right, moving on to the next story. In big Overwatch League news, Commissioner Nate Nanzer has left Blizzard to join Epic Games to oversee its competitive esports. Nanzer has been the commissioner of the league since its creation, leading development of Overwatch itself. Nanzer leaves months before the OWL transitions to a new city-based format, which he also pioneered. Mm -hmm. Ooh, getting out before it gets bad, maybe? Marissa, <laughs> what do you think? Yo, this means for the OWL. What? I'm just saying. This is a weird time to be dropping out. Hmm? No, it's not. It's the Why best not? time ever for him. He built something amazing. It's shining. It's soaring so high high and now he's gonna go and shake hands with a company that has all kinds of bank that can pay him all kinds of money and he can actually form something magical for their esports league that everybody's been just trashing everybody that plays anything Fortnite competitive has been doing nothing but trashing that scene Nate's gonna come in I think clean it up franchise it the way he did with OWL and make that money rain sure that's what he's gonna do that's what he's meant to do well you don't think Nate was getting paid big bucks at Overwatch sure. and before you know the whole like the league switch thing to the home games why is he leaving right before that comes into fruition like that's his baby that was his because idea did, why leave he, now because he went and he did what he had to do this before, is what this is what good commissions do okay he's a commission no, that's what good go businessmen do they yeah. start this and they get out because they know it's about like there's a he, danger there he's yeah. moving on to another project that Lisa. has like potential building that taking the money and getting out no i'm that's, calling that, i'm calling business i'm calling oh money on this one no that's absolutely insane if you're if you're good at business and you're good at what you do you want you want to peek at what Whatever it is that you're doing. So he peaked at Blizzard, he peaked with OWL, and now he's gonna go and he's gonna peak with Epic and he's gonna be a friggin' legend. Hashtag peak. 
Which peak, the EE e or EA? Both. Okay. Yeah. Listen, do you, I feel like you should agree with me. This, no. I, you know I'm right. No, I thought it was weird. And especially, okay, you think it's weird? I think it's weird. And also with Epic Games being the one to pick him up, like that is the number one like cash cow right now. Yeah. And for him to move on to something that's so rough, like I feel like it's all money based. Like obviously he's making this, this, this decision Lisa, off money. He's going but... somewhere that needs a lot of help. He's going to Epic because they need a lot of help with Fortnite. He's True. going to Epic because I they have a lot of money that. to pay him to help with Fortnite and their competitive league. Like this is what they need. This is what Epic has needed this whole time so people and fans and he's like players a savior. he he needs more Jesus but, okay well too far no you can't do that oh, that's sorry. how that's what killed the beatles man oh was it you can't yeah you can't compare anybody wasn't it to the Jesus. girl no no oh, yoko <laughs> yeah. wasn't it yoko that killed the beatles no 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 it's cuz they compared themselves to Jesus anyway it was a whole oh, thing my listen bad. children league of legends <laughs> fans and we'll have a whole new way to watch the game in the 2019 summer split riot games announced pro view a new streaming tool that will let fans watch games from the perspective of pro View detailed stats live and sync up to four streams to watch them all at the same time. It will cost 15 US dollars for a regional pass and $20 for access to every league around the world. And revenue from it will go directly to pros and teams. Lisa, is this a good idea? I feel like my cadence there I should tell you that I'm excited about this, but now I want to know your <laughs> perspective. Happy. Like, is it, is it a good idea to give fans this control? Um, I think it's a great idea. You know, League, Riot Games know how to make their money. Mm. This is smart because they've already been offering like player point of view for free on mm. stream for the last maybe year or two, um, where you can watch like a stream too to watch from a specific player perspective. Mm. So the fact that they're actually, you know what? Let's make money off this. Yeah. Let's package it and sell it off. Great idea. However, I don't think it will be as popular as many people might think. I think mm. the people who really will benefit from this are those who work in the industry. You know, they want to watch multiple streams and analyze multiple, like it's more efficient yeah. for them. But as a casual viewer, I don't see you watching five different perspectives at mm. once. Because then it just, it gets too complicated, right? You want right. to watch the main broadcast. So this is definitely a good um, additional, I guess, uh, option for those who mm -hmm. want to work mm -hmm. and analyze, write articles for teams. This is great. Yeah. This is great for them. But then again, so they're going to be paying money to buy this only to put it back into their own team, I guess, because the money goes back yeah, to them. Yeah, the money goes back to them. Kinda so weird. so fair enough. I guess it's just like an incestuous money pool, right? Like it's all going to be, <sighs> so smart. Uh, right? It's all going to just be coaches and players. And that makes sense because you, if you're going to watch other players play, you might as yeah. well pay premium for it, right? So yeah. like just feed into, if you're going to watch, if I'm on this team and I want to watch a player on the other team, I'm, I should have to pay for it, right? Sure. I should pay just 15 bucks. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. To just jump in and see what their strats are, see how they play the game and then try to wreck them next time around. Oh, I was gonna say, you know, this smart. is interesting. This introduces a new meta, right? Because mm. now as a player, I'm like, do I purposely do this differently so that, because I know people are watching. Yeah. So I'm gonna do this just to like trick them. Like this is a whole new meta now right. of like preparation. That and could also mess them up with their <laughs> game because they're trying to mess someone else up. Oh just my totally God. changing it up. I mean, yeah, this could lead to something really interesting for League. I mean, I'm sure you and Matt will be watching it very closely yeah. and talking about it maybe later. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Oh, four streams. Uh, we didn't mention it today, but we will definitely at some point. Okay, fine. Um, but yeah, that, that's definitely interesting. I'm I moving know. on to our next story. The next Call of Duty has not been officially announced, but we're 99% sure what it will be thanks to a boatload of leaks. Mm. And it'll have a very familiar name, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, <laughs> which is almost identical to one of the most famous entries in the series, Call of Duty 4 Modern mm. Warfare, which launched way back in 2007. And before you go thinking it's a reboot, it isn't. It's allegedly an entirely new game that happens to share the same name. Marissa, why would they do this? Mm. Tell me from your gaming mm. expertise, why, why? I have no idea. <laughs> like I, I, Was this I, a typo? This is, no, this is confusing. <laughs> I'm confused by this. Uh, so many people are confused by this. Uh, I don't, I, I, it must, I don't know, maybe they've already got the branding, they, they've already got the name going, like people liked it. Um, go back to C-O-D-M-W, like I don't know. I like how you're so confused. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, man. It don't make no sense. Is the marketing team um, sleeping? What are you guys doing? No, like there there must be a reason behind it, because I did think that it was a reboot as well, like, and a lot of people online did too, like uh, all my Twitter feed was all, okay, but why are you guys getting mad? This is a reboot. Like, no, it's, it's not. It's not a reboot, it's no. a new game. So, um, Here's or an maybe, idea. what? Maybe it's a time travel. Maybe it's a time travel <laughs> game. <laughs> I'm just coming up with these ideas. Where in this new one, you actually go back in time to this time yeah. and like change things up. You know what okay, I mean? So okay. it's technically not a reboot because it's a different story, but it takes place in the same time. Right, right, and going world. back to the modern warfare time frame. And maybe like to them, that's the most, like they've made the most money off of that. You know what I mean? You gotta trace it back to the money. So maybe they're trying to replicate what once was. Um, but I still, it, yo, it don't make 
No As a damn consumer, sense. what would you think would be more appealing? A whole new game, a new idea, or maybe, like you said, you know, going back to something that worked well yeah. and trying to bring another like follow up on that. Um, As a consumer, it, it, yeah, that's that's tough for me to say because yeah, I I love something of old. Like if it were, I have to compare it to a game that I would play more, like Animal Crossing. Um, like if we went back to Animal Crossing and then they made a new Animal Crossing, New Leaf for Switch, yeah. I would still assume that it's going to be the exact same thing that I already had on my 3DS, right? Because it's the same title. So I'm going to assume that we're going to have the same guns, we're going to have the same weapons, we're going to mm -hmm. have the same team fights, we're going to have everything will be replicated from the Modern Warfare that we love into this game. Like, uh -huh. why else would they be naming it Modern Warfare? That's That's got to be it. I mean, obviously, let us know in chat Guys, what you think, because this is uh, obviously very perplexing idea. to us. Yeah. Here's a better idea. What? Animal Crossing Modern Warfare. Okay. Can you imagine if you bloodbath? <laughs> Listen, it's time to check in with streamers in Clip It. Our first clip is another gem from Greek. This time, a viewer wrote him a lovely poem. Apply Greek changes. the fattest, first of his name, lord of pies, no. eater of fries, breaker of chairs, hater of stairs, freer of snackies, wearer of nappies, <laughs> farmer of truers, master of losers, player of flutes, allergic to fruits, will excel wide, pepe sad inside. What now? Give me, give me. Dude, you wrote a poem? Don't do that, dude. What the f was that? Wearer of nappies. Uh, yo, I wish someone would write a poem for me. Uh, you know what? I don't know if I can do that, you know, extensive a poem, but... What? Uh, I got something for you. Really? Um, our shirts are red. Oh, yeah. Uh, the set is blue. That's real. Um, I know you're taken, but can I be your player too? Oh, Lisa! I have nothing to give you. I still got games. Please mm. accept this mute button on my Okay. It's mine uh, now. It's yours now. I love you. That was really sweet, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, let's move That's on <laughs> to our next clip. I'm so good. <laughs> our next clip comes with a warning. Kids, don't torture yourself for attention. Uh, with that said, here is Johnny underscore now doing something really stupid. It must be time to take it off, right? Let's take it off. I, I can't take the smell. I'm going to throw up. Oh, God, guys. Okay, we can get through this. Every minute we, can, we celebrate. Jess's. 46 minutes left. No, you said 45, Queen! You can't round when I'm in here! Jack and Another minute! What? What? Um, looking at, watching that, I don't think that was worth it. I don't know if the, the attention was worth it. Marissa. Guys, why are you, like, why? Listen, like, remember back in the day when it's, like, Bam Margera and, like, the boys of Jackass, and, like, they were doing mm. stuff like this and, like, hurting themselves for views, and they got them. And now, like, YouTube is just filled with guys hurting themselves for views because, you, you know, the bros like to see other bros get hurt, and, like, sure. that's unfortunate, but that is how people get views. But this is, like, why, why would you torture yourself in such a horrible way? Like, I, I mean, I can't imagine he's making that much money off of that. I don't know. I mean, we're watching it now. I and guess. We clipped it. Yeah. It's actually so concerning. He's doing the water drip challenge, which is actually a form of torture yeah, in some is. places where you literally just let water drop on you for a long time, and that yeah. apparently drives you insane. For sure. um, this reminds me of that time, I think a year back, someone like locked himself in a cage um, while streaming. Like, he was trying to see how long he could last himself last in a cage That's for views. So once again, it's like people are doing crazy things. And even Instagram, you know, people are going to crazy uh, heights yeah. and places to take Instagram photos. People have died doing I this know, so I this know. is literally just another example of people doing crazy stuff for likes Guys, and views mm -mm. No. So, Marissa, what are you going to do for yourself. views? Protect yourself. What are you um, going to do for views I right now? I don't, I, no, I don't want to hurt myself. Aww. I can't, Lisa. I can't. Listen, it's truly the best time of day <laughs> where we scroll the Twitters to bring you all the things that pros bless us with on their timeline. It's Monday, y'all, so let's take this time to reminisce over this weekend's events for the pros because we live vicariously through them. <laughs> Clazer tweets, I just lost a battle for the armrest on my flight. Lady in the middle was locked down, elbow to wrist on that V. I even tried to nudge in there and she just gripped the edges until her knuckles turned white. You can have this one, lady. Holy Lisa, would you relent? Do you think Clay maybe bowed out too early? Um, I think she had his number there. She's, <laughs> I bet you, she, either she was really terrified of flying altogether, sure. or she played it. She played it smart. If you yeah. held on tight 
And what else, what else are they going to do? Yeah. Um, me, I don't fight for the armrest. I fight for the window seat. I'm a oh. window seat person. I, if I get the window, I'm like happy to just crawl up on that side and never touch the armrest. Really? Yeah. I don't fight for the armrest. I'm the exact opposite. Oh, I, really? Well, actually, I don't fight for the armrest, but I fight for the aisle seat. And oh. I'm like an aisle seat person. So, you know, maybe we really should ship. Uh, so, I, <laughs> aisle seat, never, I never, I, I don't know. I don't fight for it because I just feel like it's not worth it. I also don't ever put my chair back because I feel like that's rude to the person behind me. And I think it's really rude when you put your chair back and you don't ask permission for the person behind you either. Okay, people? They might be sleeping, their head might be down, and then you just slam it back there. This girl got hit in the head a few times now. It doesn't feel good. That explains a lot. Yeah. Anyways, let's continue our weekend adventures by taking a trip to Jersey. Melee Pro hugs his new home. He says, experience my first East Coast moment, LOL. Guy comes to the restaurant patio to ask us for money. Bartender comes out and tells him to get the F out. Dude goes, why you mad? I ain't killed anybody yet. Bartender yells at him, why don't you start with yourself? Jesus. <laughs> Wow, that was a clap back. Uh, Rizzo, what would you do in that moment? Um, you were a server at one point, right? Yeah, so yeah definitely. What would you do? Uh, well, if I were a server, I couldn't actually do anything because I'd be working and I just had to be professional about it. Aww. But if I were a guest at that restaurant, I'd be taking out my phone and just doing one of these. Maybe go live on Instagram. Just there get a little. Go. That's fun. I love that Gotta stuff. Do the likes, right, Marissa? No, what did we just teach do the kids? Do it No, no, not not likes, not likes. Just views at that point because no one's gonna like that stuff. It's kind of rude. <laughs> but people love seeing that drama. Like I love seeing couples fight in public. Yeah. I love seeing any kind of like disagreement in public as long as there's no violence. Yo, it is entertaining AF. Yeah, I've seen people throw down over like a bowl of pho, and I don't even know if you guys know what that is. A bowl of pho? Yeah, in Toronto, I've seen a clip where there was like a huge gang fight, and people were just like <laughs> in their pho, but like they kind of finished, they couldn't let go. You know, there's like chairs being thrown around, <laughs> weaves being pulled off. <sighs> no, times. explain, so explain people bad. don't know, because that's how you say, it's not pho, it's pho. Explain yes, that. you guys, Vietnamese noodles, it's called yeah. pho, mm -hmm. not pho, okay? So Shoot. get the pho out of here, yeah, if you're yeah. calling it pho. Yeah, 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 you heard it from pho. Lisa. I messed that up. She's the authority on this. <laughs> Our last profound thought is another reflection on the weekend as Twitter was ablaze with hype over, well, hype and love for the Toronto Raptors. All of a sudden, it seemed like the world is sipping that Raptors brew. Courage sums it all up quite succinctly. Mm. He says, as a Raptors fan since May 25th, 2019, I cannot express how much this final's worth means to me. <laughs> True fan. Oh, uh, so uh, fan. how do you feel about these bandwagon jumpers? I mean, uh, basically all, it almost seems like, I said half of Toronto, but I feel all like more than half of Toronto has kind of jumped on the bandwagon now. But like, how do you, I guess, funny. but you can't hate on them for it because like, it's totally understandable. This is amazing for the city. No, 100%. I don't mind if people who never really followed bo basketball are now like, yay, awesome, that's yeah. great. We should all celebrate together. But it's people yeah. who are like, oh, I followed them like for a long time and I knew they were going to get here. Don't lie. You didn't know they were going to get here. <laughs> Nobody knew they were going to get here until recently, okay? Um, cool. I I actually, I actually followed basketball. This is a true story. I followed basketball when I was in grade six. Mm. During, if you guys remember, this is old. Uh, Mo Pete days, Jalen Rose days. Dang, girl. When Chris Bosh was on that team, remember? Bosh yeah, that's when I actually followed them for a few years. But yeah. then they weren't good, so I left. So I'm actually at the reverse right now. Like, I'm back in it because I'm really proud. You know, I've been uh -huh. there since the beginning. So what you're saying is that you're a bandwagon jumper. No. That's, that's, that's the literally what you, you jumped off the bandwagon. Now you, yeah, you jumped back on it. Oh, crap. Uh, I didn't fine. understand that. You right. didn't go down with the ship. Right. fine. Let's <laughs> move on because it's time to get to some crowd control. This is where we showcase some of the great gaming stuff the community has been making or talking about. So we love our fail moments here, and when it happens in virtual reality, it's even better. Full credits to Rage for VR. Let's check it out. I love the laughing. I just love the like laughing. Yeah, I don't know. Like you gotta, you gotta have some space for that, man. You gotta have some space for that life. You I need a Brody special it, VR but. room where like there's cushions everywhere, yeah. no sharp objects, because yeah. that could get dangerous for sure. Yeah. I feel bad for him. Obviously, he was too into it. And he just reached over <laughs> and fell over. Um, are you a fan of VR? Do you play a lot I of VR don't, games? No, I no, because I don't want to. I don't know. I just feel like I don't have the space for it. I don't have. Um, the patience, I guess, is another thing because you mm. got to set up a lot. It's like a, it, it requires a lot of love and setup, basically. Yes. And you're so not no, I, you're not either. Don't lie. Why? Why you got to call me out? Like I that? know you're not. I just, 
I knew yeah. it! Real talk, yeah, there are a lot awesome. of bad drivers out there, so let's take this moment to Damn shame it. them. Lisa. Wow. Or we can just let Luigi do it for us. <laughs> When you pass someone to see if they look as stupid as they drive, that that is that is literally me on the 401 like every week. Fashion all, that is literally her, 100. <laughs> Straight up, I that live like that life. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, that that is my that is my freaking life, Lisa. And like one time I did it and it was you. Ah, uh, because you were speeding with your little tiny car around me, like it was a 40 zone. What is she doing doing a 70? Uh, Why are you listen, driving faster? What's listen, wrong with listen. You? Everyone always likes to make fun of me for being a bad driver, but do you guys talk about Marissa's road rage ever? <laughs> she literally had trucks tell her to slow down or you're gonna die. True story, you tell them. Go. That was it was like one time, we were driving so freaking slow, I had to turn left, like it was a yellow light, whatever, like they weren't going fast enough. Anyway, this truck pulls up beside me, he's like this older dude, he's like, you need to slow down or you're gonna kill yourself. Like straight, I'm like, thank you, sir. Oh, you're nice to driving. him. Well, I didn't want to start something. He was like older and you know, okay, you just don't want to. You had to put respect on me. Respect on your elders, yo. That's why you should put respect on me, you feel? Don't enforce the Asian stereotype against me, guys. <laughs> All right, it's time for our last pose, courtesy of Diego Escala. Nobody likes being attacked by animals, especially by those from the avian family, because they got those like beady eyes and you can never tell what they're thinking. And I think that's fair to say, the sentiment applies out of game and in game. Mm. Like why weren't we like, grown up? Thanksgiving dinner, ready. yeah. Oh my God! Right? Listen, I gotta say though, I am terrified of birds. Are like, you actually terrified of birds? So I was re really scared of them because uh, it was like in a lane situation because my head is so big that like a bird flew <laughs> flew into it. So uh, like that's happened before. But I was around a, a tree. I guess there were. It was a nest up there, and so the Aww. mom was just trying to protect its babies. But like I wasn't climbing the tree or anything. I was just walking by. Maybe it started swooping at me. Maybe they saw your stash me. and thought it was a nest and okay. wanted to, you know. No, it, it was down. terrifying. I had been Aww. scared of birds ever since. But then I went to a falconry and I got to meet like birds of prey. No, and then I had like a newfound respect for certain birds. So like if you contribute to, you know, the sky, like if you're if you are a, a, a falcon or you know a hawk, then I got loves for you. But if you're just one of those like little Favorite baby birds. Elitism. Yeah, yeah, oh straight up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I pick and choose. I like I like them eagles, you know, they're free and they just ride high. Anyway. Okay, well, American. You're not, you're not afraid of birds? I'm not afraid of birds. What's there to be afraid of? They're more afraid of you. What are you That's not true. Was that turkey afraid? No. Okay, that was a real turkey, but if you live in a city, you know those pigeons are fierce, you gotta protect your hot dog. You gotta do what it takes to protect your food. And so if you grew up in a city, pigeons you know how to protect yourself. Yeah, 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 pigeons are filled with disease. Don't go near them, okay? I hate the people that feed them. Like, they, they find their own food. They're fine. No. Listen, yeah. that's it for our meeting. Remember, you can always hit us up on our socials just to say hi and send us stuff to react to. Simon, type in exclamation mark right now, socials, so we can see you there. Bye.